What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are currently in the month of December, which means that college application deadlines are coming to a close. I know, scary. However, don't panic, okay? Relax, breathe in, breathe out. Today I'm here to share my last minute tips regarding the activities and honours section of the college application and also to share my um, activities and honours that I used to get into NY Abu Dhabi. I just want to point out that I am no professional in this field. I am just an international student that got into my top school, I guess. So, you know, take my highly sophisticated and evidence-based advice. With a grain of salt. <laughs> because it's all based on my experience, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, starting with extracurriculars, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. Please try to focus on activities where you are the first, the best or the only person to do something. The university really wants to know how your activities have impacted your personal growth, your community or others and how you could also impact if you were admitted to the school. So when I say the first, think about when you were the first person to do something. Did you create a club? Did you start an organisation? these activities would really stand out because they would show how much impact you can make on campus, right? When I say the best, did you win a competition? Were you amongst the top 5% in a class to do something? When I say the only, I want you to think about activities where you're the only person to receive a certain accomplishment. So for example, were you a prefect? Were you a head boy, a head girl? These are the kind of things that I'm talking about. Next, order is very important. On the college application, you have about 10 spaces to put all of your activities, but not all 10 weights the same amount of importance. I believe that the top five activities should really be based on your commitment, the hours and the impacts that you've had. You really want the activity at the top to catch the administrator's attention, right? So you want to show something that shows the highest impact, something where you really did commit to a project, something that you are highly passionate about. I would aim to place an activity where you initiated the project or you showed great leadership skills. And it's okay if you don't have an activity like that, focus instead on passion. Focus instead on an activity where you put a lot of hours into, where you try to find a solution. That is gonna immediately catch anyone's attention. Show, don't tell. All of your activities should show a personal action results or impacts that you had. Don't tell me exactly what the club does. I want to know what you did in the club. I want to know how you made an impact within the club. So for example, if you were a tutor, instead of saying participated in supporting students to accomplish their academic goals in maths, physics and English, you could be more specific. You could say something like supported three to five students weekly, organized 15 monthly practice exams slash academic progress reports, increased average grade by 20%. Now that is more impactful. That's showing exactly what you did in that role. That's showing your initiative and that's showing the results that you had. Key thing here also, try not to use wordy sentences. Use semicolons to really show the results that you have had and also quantify. Quantify, quantify, quantify. Use numbers, don't use letters. That's gonna help you to save more space and also get um, your message across more coherently. Calculate the hours you have attributed to each activity. It's very easy to get carried away with the amount of hours that you place for each activity, but realistically, we only have about 168 hours in a week. You are in school for eight hours of the day, and if you also are sleeping like a normal person, you won't have that much time left in the day to do so many activities. So make sure that you actually are adding up all of your activities to make sure that they look realistic. The last thing you want to do is to come off as dishonest, especially within this section, because immediately that's a red flag to any admissions officer. So the goal is not to maximise the list of activities. The goal is to show quality, not quantity. <laughs> The school wants to know the impact that you've had, the real impact that you've had within your activities. Universities will be more impressed by seeing activities where you've actually committed hours to make a strong impact rather than just listing a bunch of things that you've just kind of dabbed into here and there. 
My next tip is to use power verbs, but don't exaggerate too much with power verbs. And I use power verbs all the time. Power verbs are things like administrated, coordinated, supervised, all of these things. I use this all the time, even now as an adult, particularly with resume building. And a few weeks ago, I actually had a chance to take a resume workshop and um, my instructor told me about four different categories of power verbs. And those were planning, organizing, executing and problem solving. So if you have planned something, use power verbs like this. If you have executed something, use a power verb like this. If you have um, organized something, use power verbs like this. And if you have problem solved, use power verbs like this. And hopefully that can help you to seem more professional when writing about your extracurricular. My final tip is to keep formatting consistent. So what do I mean by keeping formatting consistent? If you're going to quantify, make sure you're quantifying all numbers. So if you're saying you did 15 hours of work, then also say that you've done three hours of work. Also say that you have helped three people, like a number. Don't say 15 hours of work and then in your next line say I supported 15 people but in word format. Just things like that. Similarly, if you say what you did in a club and then you write the impact afterwards, keep that consistent throughout all of your activities. For example, I supported 20 students during my time working in a youth group, semicolon, increased participation by 20%. That would be the format that you keep throughout your activities, your activities list. And that's just gonna help you seem more, you know, organized, professional, and it's just kind of easier to follow. And just a bonus tip, please submit your application 48 hours prior to the deadline, because I know that some people will wait a day before or like, you know, 15 minutes before the deadline is approaching and all of a sudden common application will just close because the magnitude of people trying to submit an application is just too wild. You have international students like me trying to submit. You have people in the US, which is huge, trying to submit. It's just not a, it's just not a good idea. So please, 48 hours. I am not your mom, I'm not your dad, but I'm just saying, please help yourself submit 48 hours so you have ample time to actually get the application through. Okay, so the awards section. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably a very difficult part of the common application, like application entirely, because a lot of extracurriculars don't necessarily transform to awards. And especially when you're still like in high school, it's very difficult to um, kind of gain very prestigious awards. But the focus here is not on prestige, and I would try my best to fill in just the space in general. It could be an award that you won from class. It could be an award of like recognition where you recognized as, you know, as an athlete, where you recognized in a certain subject. Did you participate in an internship? Did you participate in a competition? Did you win that competition? Think about things like this. They don't have to be anything extravagant, like you didn't have to win a gold medal, <laughs> but just awards that, you know, are, you know, regional, national, or even just based in your school or community. I'm not saying that this is the best way to write the award section, but if you really don't have like anything to put here, I wouldn't leave the space blank. I would still aim to put things like this within that space just to you know, really show more about your personality and more about your impact. That's what we're focused on, your impact. <laughs> so moving on to my activities and my honours list, I applied to NY Abu Dhabi about five years ago. I can't believe it. I know, time has just flown by. Um, and I don't actually have the official common application honours list, but I do have the working document, which I found about a week ago of my extracurriculars and my honours list. So this is not the final thing, but it's close to what the final thing was. So let's look at my 
essay I mean let's look at my um let's look at my oh my goodness what am I trying to say <laughs> let's look at my extracurriculars and my honors okay so number one I put down founder slash manager photographer and editor so my first activity was about my photography business I started taking photographs at 17 years old and the description of this activity is travel nationally to record videos slash photographs, ceremonial events and tournaments chosen to photograph at novice national boxing championships. So that was my first one. Photography was something I was really passionate about and that's why I placed it there and I had a lot of experience kind of doing photographs like outside of school and I just think that was something that I really wanted to show the admissions officer. So that was number one. The second activity was environmental. Um, and the position, I said, founder of sustainable nonprofit in Accra. So I described this activity as manager slash advertiser of Green Ghana, raising awareness for sustainable energy across Ghana by donating, distributing flyers in markets. Okay, this sounds very bougie, but it's really sounding bougie just because of the way I wrote it. In actuality, <laughs> I was given leaflets within Ghana that gave information about sustainable energy. And um, I was just trying to educate people about sustainable light bulbs. And that's pretty much what I was managing. Um, so I'm saying it really is about how you are phrasing your extracurriculars. Um, so power verbs are very important. Okay, the next activity I have here is athletics. So athletics, my position, female boxer at local boxing gym. So description, support students, photograph boxing teams, national show bouts, encourage more girls to box by working with local community gym. The fourth activity I have here um, is manager slash volunteer at youth group. So description, evangelize youth group to teenagers across my borough. I'm not going to say where I live, but yes, my borough. Coordinated four activities throughout the year, focusing on dance, arts and culture, increasing participants by 20%. The next activity I had here was first house leader of 40th, responsible for 250 students. So I don't know why I put 250 students in that area because that was just meant to be the position. But I think in the, I mean, for you guys, put the quantities in the same space. Um, so put it in the description. It would be easier to see. But if you don't have space, I guess you could then put it in um, the position title. But I, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, so the, so the description of that is senior coordinator of events, raised £1,000 for charities, only captain to lead house to victory twice, received invitation to National Rock Assembly. That was a school position that I had. And um, yeah, I had a lot of impact in this actually. So again, think about school positions that you're a part of and basically what your role is and how much support you are actually giving to the school as a result of what you do. Sometimes we kind of oversee the things that we do because we think, oh, we're not really doing that much work. But no, if you are a prefect, that means you are looking after a whole group of students. It could go up to about 200 students that you are responsible for. Think of it in that way. Um, I just want to point out, as an international student, you are competing against so many people. And the thing with Americans is that they can really like sell themselves. So you have to be able to sell every position that you have had. It's so important. Anyways, let me stop rambling. Let's move on to the next activity. The next activity, I said GCSE maths slash physics subjects tutor at school. Chosen by head of department to tutor physics and maths modules, involved planning lessons, motivating students and teaching recognize for increasing annual GCSE grades. My next activity, youngest coordinating director of auction, sustainable projects. Okay, designer and examiner of sustainable device, 
part of a team who received 10,000 to advance sustainable energy nationally, educating schools in Borough about energy. This sounds so good, but honestly, my role was not that big. I was literally just helping them to compare um, the efficiencies of their products. And I only did it for like, you know, a week. So this is like very low within my um my table it was like seventh on the activity list but i just thought that it added again to the sustainable impact i was trying to show in my application and that's why i have it in this position but i just got involved in the team like towards the end if you can get involved in something obviously it's a bit last minute but if somebody is working on a project and you can get involved slightly in it then that's also an opportunity to you know expand your extracurricular list but right now, I wouldn't focus on that. I would just focus on submitting the common application. Okay, finally, let's go on to my honours. My mouth is literally hurting me. I've been speaking for so long. <laughs> okay, so my honours. The first honour I have is Sutton Trust. I was one of 150 chosen from 1,000 applications to compete in a summer school in the US. Um, and that was national. So that was my first activity. And then Liman, and Liman United Nations representative. I basically was chosen by my school to represent at a conference and they had a bunch of people. So this is like model UN, but we're international students. And I guess that's what, <laughs> that was what I counted as an honor. Okay, the next honor I have is an architecture internship that I did. It was a long time ago, but I just thought that was also interesting to place as an honor. And then, as I said, focus on honors such as, you know, any subject awards. So I had received a head, a head teacher's award, a geography award, and also a maths award and a physics award during my time at, during my time in high school. So I had those awards also, and I just kind of placed them for grade nine, grade 10, grade 11 or year nine, year 10, year 11. Well, because I'm from the UK, we use years, not grades, but yeah, um, I had received those awards during my high school career. And finally, <laughs> my last honor is being a flag waver and a choreographer at Ghana's National Homer War Festival. That isn't, that was just me trying to use up space because that, yeah, but it works. I said I was a flag waver. I was waving a flag during a festival and I said that was an honor. So listen, you got to do what you have to do. So yeah, guys, those are all of my activities and my honors that helped me to get into NYU Abu Dhabi. And I really do hope these tips have helped you. I hope this has given you more clarification on the application, particularly this part of the application. I am so tired right now. It is literally 7.40. I haven't had food yet, so I'm gonna call it wraps and go and enjoy the rest of my weekend. I really hope I have helped you in any way, shape or form. Good luck with your application. If you need any help, I'll try my best to get back to the comments in the YouTube section. So leave your comments down below. You could also reach out to me on Instagram. Um, but that could get a bit overwhelming. So I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna try my best. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>